Hi, I'm Johnny with BalloonAnimalsPalmBeach.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an enraged bird. What you're going to need is one red 260, one white 260, and one yellow 160. First, inflate the red 260 until it has about a five or six finger tail. So that's about five or six finger tail. Next, inflate the white 260 until it has about a seven or eight finger tail. So that's about an eight finger tail. Now we're gonna tie the two balloons together. like so. Now we're going to make a little three finger bubble, I mean a three finger loop, with the white balloon. Next we're going to make a six, no, seven finger bubble with the white balloon. And then bring the white balloon back up Make a bubble that's the same size as this one, so seven fingers. And twist those two together. Now you can get rid of the rest of the white. Tie this off. Next, we're going to go ahead and take the red, make it nice and squishy, and we're going to draw it over this white loop. And then twist that into place. Then we're going to bring the red down and match. match these white bubbles here. And then draw the red back up on this side. Pull it nice and tight through here. And you want to make a bubble that's a little about the same size as this red bubble, a little bit bigger than the white bubble. So I want these two to be the same size and twist this balloon into the head. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Make a bubble that's the same exact size as this one. And I like to cross over, cross this over and make a bubble coming up this side. And you want this bubble to be the same exact size as this one. And then just twist this balloon into the head. Get rid of the extra. Tie it off. And twist the tail of the balloon into these bubbles to hold everything nice and tight. Little adjustment. Next, you're going to take your yellow two 160, the yellow 160, and inflate it just a little bit so 
So four, eight, 12, 16, about 19 fingers. And you're gonna make a little three finger bubble. Make a second three finger bubble, the same exact size. Twist those two together. Tuck the nozzle through to lock that into place. Then make a small pinch twist. Make another three finger bubble. A another three finger bubble. Twist those two into place. Now you're gonna get rid of the extra, but you wanna leave a nice amount of tail on this so that we can attach, this is the feet. We wanna attach the feet to the bird. We're gonna use the extra tail. So I'm gonna get rid of it over here. So I have a nice long tail. Tie that off close to the twists. And we're gonna use this to attach the feet. So you're just gonna push this tail in to these bubbles here. Okay, so that's the front of the bird, back of the bird. Next, going to take the rest of the yellow 160, and we're going to inflate it just a little bit. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 18 fingers. You really only need a tiny bit. This is gonna be the beak. The beak's really only like two fingers loop, a two finger loop. So make that loop, twist it off. Pull the nozzle through the loop to lock it in place. That's it. So we're gonna get rid of this. You wanna leave some extra tail so we can tie it on. So we don't wanna get rid of it here, we're gonna get rid of it here. Tie this off with a knot close to the bubble. And then I like to give both of these an extra knot so that my loop doesn't come undone. And then I'm gonna use this to connect my beak to the front of the head here. I'm just gonna twist this tail around the neck and through the loop a little bit. Yeah, my beak's a little bit big, but that's okay. You can make the beak a lot smaller, it still look good. All right, so that's it. And next, I'm just gonna draw on some eyes and some flared nostrils. So I just do a line going up on each side. Like an angry eyebrow. And then underneath the front end of that line, I draw a circle. And 
give him some flared nostrils on his beak. And that is the angry bird or the enraged bird. And if you like the video, just go ahead and click like. If you have any feedback, you can leave it in the comment section. You can also subscribe to this channel. I release videos on a regular basis, or you can visit me on Facebook or my website, balloonanimalspalmbeach.com. And I want to thank Eric Kurt for teaching me this. Thanks.